declarative sentence is a sentence that declares a fact. Then, a declarative sentence which is either true or false, but not both. A declarative sentence, declarative sentence which is either true or false, but not both. It's called a proposition. Proposition or a statement. So in logic, a statement or proposition means a declarative sentence which is either true or false. Here, Kottayam is the capital of Kerala. It is a declarative sentence. And we know that it is false. So it is a proposition. So a proposition means a declarative sentence which is either true or false but not both. Declarative sentence are you Ponmigil Seri Arikana, a Lingil Theta Arikana, Seri in the Timuragan party. Such a sentence is called a proposition or a statement. For example, if we consider the statement two plus three is equal to five. It is a statement, declaration, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. It is a declarative sentence, and we know that it is true. Therefore, it is also a proposition. 2 plus 3 is equal to 8. It is also a declarative sentence. We declare that the value of 2 plus 3 is equal to 8. But we know that it is false. So it is a declarative sentence which is false. So we can say it is also a proposition. Now consider the statement x plus 2 is equal to 7. x plus 2 is equal to 7. Considering this statement, it is true when x is equal to 5 and false for all other values of x. The statement x plus 2 is equal to 7 is true only when x is equal to 5 and for all other values of x this statement is false. So this statement can be true and false depending on the values of x. So we can say it is a statement, it is a declarative sentence which can be true and false. So it is not a proposition. So generally, statements involving variables, statements involving variables is not a proposition. Or sentences which, which uh, include variables are not propositions. Now, the text is normal case level view like in the word proposition. And then standard statement and the word and state proposition of a review like in the text. Now, the text is majority line at them proposition on the word than you know. So, another name for proposition statement. So, sentence. Sentences involving variables are not propositions. Then, open the door. Open the door. It is a command. It is not a declarative sentence. But if I give it a declaration, it is a command. So it is not a proposition. Then, what is your name? What is your name? It is not a proposition because not it is a because it is not a declarative sentence. The questions on them proposition. Come 
momentum no? the position I love variables include in the sentences on the net the position I love for you sentence on the internet a sentence proposition are going to other declarative sentence I can I'm a declarative sentence in a only get through a guy now I think it's all saga and all up possibility on the go through false thing would I don't know possibility on the gun party yeah the other sentence on that in the other proposition on all you know check here definition play that money for the declarative sentence on only a can of article it is sentence in a true I got him false saga now the possibility on the room false and good article I'm part in that here expressive is equal to seven and the next in the value in a different the other true I'm false I got so it is not a proposition two plus three is equal to five is a proposition two plus three is equal to eight is a proposition what time is the capital of Kerala it is a proposition so first we write the definition of proposition here that not book it okay to the module one logic module one module one logic module one logic A sentence that declares a sentence that declares a sentence that declares a sentence that declares a fact declares a fact is called a is called a a declarative sentence a sentence that declares a fact is called a declarative sentence is called a declarative sentence declarative sentence a declarative sentence a declarative sentence a declarative sentence which is true or false declarative sentence which is true or false declarative sentence which is true or false but not both but not both is called a proposition is called a proposition or a statement is called a proposition or a statement proposition or a statement examples Numbers. But Kottayam is the capital of Kerala. Kottayam is the capital of Kerala. Kottayam is the capital of Kerala. Two plus three is equal to five. 
2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Two plus three is equal to no, no. two plus three is equal to eight. The following are examples of sentences. The following the following are examples of sentences the following are examples of sentences which are not propositions the following are examples of sentences which are not propositions following are examples of sentences which are not propositions yeah what is your name what is your name What is your name? B. Read carefully. Read carefully. C. X plus one is equal to three. X plus Y is equal to Z. X plus Y is equal to Z. Sudaman, propositional la. No other thing can happen. Yeah, propositional la. That can only happen. And there is no. It is not a declarative sentence. It is a question. It is not a declarative sentence. What is that? A is not a proposition. A is not a proposition. A is not a proposition because A matra le B on the left. Read A and B. A and B. A and B. B on the left. Read carefully in the Declarative. A and B are. A and B are not propositions, not propositions, A and B are not propositions because, because, because they are, because they are not declarative sentences because they are not declarative sentences a and b are not propositions because they are not declarative sentences c and d c and d are not propositions are not propositions because they case very important or declarative sentence ana ennal there is a possibility of there is a possibility of being true and false for each of these C and D are not propositions because C and D are not propositions because they can be true and false because 
they can be true and false they can be true and false depending on the values of depending on the values of they can be true and false depending on the values of x y and z depending on the values of x y and z ഇപ്പിടി പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ എഴുതി എടുക്കാൻ സാധിക്കുന്നുണ്ടല്ലോ ഹലോ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ കോട്ടയം ഇസ് ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് കേരള എഴുതണ്ട സദിക്ക കോട്ടയം ഇസ് ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് കേരള the truth value of this proposition is f or false we say that f is the truth value of this proposition because it is false false on the line the first letter f for and we know that the proposition 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is a true proposition so we say that d is the truth value of this proposition so a proposition has either the truth value k or the truth value f if it is a false proposition then its truth value will be f and if it is a true proposition then its truth value is t and if the truth value is f we denote or another we say that zero is the truth value omigile f nu denote cheyum allengil truth value is zero truth value is zero means that proposition is false if it is true truth value is t we say that the truth value is 1 onnil namukku truth value t ennu parayam allengil 1 ennu parayam so truth value of a proposition is 1 means that proposition is true truth value of a proposition is zero means that proposition is false so truth value of a proposition is f or t if it is a true statement then we say that f is the truth value or zero is the truth value if it is a true statement then we say that its truth value is t or 1 hello we know that we know that we know that k no w we know that the proposition we know that the proposition kottayam is the capital of kerala kottayam is the capital of kerala is false kottayam is the capital of kerala is false kottayam is the capital of kerala is false hence we say that hence we say that f is the truth value of the proposition hence we say that f is the truth value
here we say truth value of that proposition or we say that or we say that zero is the truth value or we say that zero is the truth value of that proposition zero is the truth value of that proposition zero is the truth value of that proposition if we consider the proposition if we consider the proposition if we consider the proposition 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 if we consider the proposition 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 it is a true proposition 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 therefore we say that therefore we say that therefore we say that the truth value of that proposition is we say that the truth value of that proposition is we say that the truth value of that proposition is capital T or 1 truth value of that proposition is capital T or 1 now we use the letters P, Q, etc. P, Q, R, etc. to represent prepositions. Period of Ghana. What time is the capital of Kerala? P and the period of we write P. What time is the capital of Kerala? Other than 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Q. We name the proposition 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 as Q. So we use the letters P, Q, R, etc. to represent prepositions. And therefore, these variables, P, Q, R, etc. are called propositional variables. So, the variables used to represent propositions. Variables used to represent propositions are called propositional variables. And we usually use the letters P, Q, R, etc. to denote them. Hello. We use variables. We use variables. We use variables. P, Q, R, etc. We use variables. P, Q, R, etc. To represent propositions to represent propositions we use variables p q r etc to represent propositions they are called uh, they are called uh, propositional variables They are called uh, propositional variables. They are called uh, propositional variables. Propositional variables. In 
നമുക്ക് പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻസ് തന്നിരുന്നാൽ തന്നിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻസ് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് പുതിയ പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻസ് ഫോം ചെയ്യാം നമുക്ക് ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ തന്നിരുന്നാൽ ആ തന്നിരിക്കുന്ന പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് പുതിയ പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ഫോം ചെയ്യാം ഫസ്റ്റ് കോട്ടയം ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ഈസ് പി കോട്ടയം ഈസ് ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് കേരള and using this proposition we form another proposition kottayam is not the capital of kerala kottayam is not the capital of kerala that is it is a negative of the sentence representing the proposition p ോട്ടയം <laughs> So given a proposition P, the sentence <laughs> sentence representing the negative of P is called the negation and the next notation for negation of P, it is the notation for negation of P. P negation of P. Here is that. Negation of a proposition. Negation of a proposition. Negation of a proposition. The negation of a proposition P the negation of a proposition p is the negative of the sentence negative of the sentence representing p negative of this sentence representing p it is denoted by it is denoted by symbol for negation it is denoted by negation p it is denoted by negation p for example ഇത് 
ഇൻഡക്റ്റീവ് സെൻസിലോട്ട് ആഡ് ചെയ്യാം ഇതിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒന്ന് സോ ദി നെഗേഷൻ ഓഫ് പി കാൻ ആൾസോ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ദി കേസ് ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട് ടൈം ഇസ് ദി ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് കേരള അതിൽ എഴുതാ നെഗേഷൻ ഓഫ് പി നെഗേഷൻ പി കാൻ ആൾസോ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് നെഗേഷൻ പി കാൻ ആൾസോ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് negation b can also be written as it is not the case that 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 kottayam is the capital of kerala it is not the case that kottayam is the capital of kerala it is not the case that kottayam is the capital of kerala ini ningalode main aayittu nu parayanullathu edaanelum maas padikana ningal main aayittu definition ellam padichirikkanam nisaravayittu oru karyam edoru number prime number aanu poviya nu paranju kenjal prime number endra nu arinjirikkanam appol മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സിന്റെ കേസിൽ റിസൾട്ട് ഒന്നും കാണാതെ പഠിച്ചിരുന്നില്ലെങ്കിലും ഡെഫിനിഷൻസ് എല്ലാം അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ആണോ അല്ലയോ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാൽ പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ എന്താണെന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞാൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്കത് പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻ ആണോ അല്ലയോ എന്ന് ചെക്ക് അപ്പോൾ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ എല്ലാം ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കുക ഏത് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ആണെങ്കിലും ഓരോ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ വരുമ്പോഴും ആ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിരിക്കണം കാര്യം നിസ്സാരമായിരിക്കും പക്ഷേ പ്രൈം നമ്പർ ആണെന്ന് നമുക്ക് പോയിണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് പ്രൈം നമ്പർ എന്താണെന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം അപ്പോ അതുകൊണ്ട് മാസ് പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാ ഡെഫിനേഷനും ക്ലിയർ ആയിട്ട് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുക അപ്പൊ പഠിക്കണം എല്ലാ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ പഠിക്കാൻ നമുക്കത് മനസ്സിലാക്കി പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് എപ്പോഴും ആയിരിക്കും എല്ലാ ഡെഫിനേഷന് ആ ഒരു പേര് കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു നമുക്ക് അത് എന്താണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാനായിട്ട് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ മനസ്സിലാക്കി പഠിക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല ഡെഫിനേഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ കാണുന്നത് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം അത് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നമുക്ക് സമയമായി സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ചെയ്യാം